Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD, and yes, oh my god, another one, an MDT 2013 dealing with Windows 10 technical preview deployment. And this video is really simple. It's all about updating your deployment share. Now, updating your deployment share is very important. The reason why is because any changes or any modifications that you do on your out-of-the-box driver or your operating system or you create a new task sequence or you add another application you gotta make sure you update your deployment share it's really simple what you wanna do is right click on the main uh, node of your deployment share and just update the deployment share now you got a couple of options by default it optimizes the boot image for updating process so whatever modifications you made it imports it into your um, your boot image awesome now you also have compressed the boot image content to recover space especially if you had so much stuff in your boot image but you deleted a lot of stuff already but you still don't see a difference from the stuff that you deleted you could do this and it, you know you would see that extra space or if you have a couple of problems and you think your uh, your boot image is a corrupt or is a dirty boot image hey you could actually do a complete regenerate the boot image this process takes a little bit uh, longer but I'm gonna do optimize the boot image for updating process if you if this is your first time actually updating it since the series it's gonna take a little bit uh, because what's gonna happen is it's gonna open up your 86 bit stuff import it stuff in there and then once the 86 bit stuff is done it's going to go to the 64 bit environment and take care of uh, the WIM image importing that other stuff once your uh, deployment share is up and running you're, you're it's good that's it what I do recommend is every time you do any kind of modifications within your task sequence or you add a new application or you even go inside your task sequence to add a simple little script update, update your deployment share okay uh, if if it's time for you to deploy your your custom image or, you, or to re-image a physical machine or to re-image a bunch of machines in your infrastructure, update your deployment share before you even deploy anything. And we're back guys, the process completed with no problem, awesome, super excited that it completed with no problem. This is always a good thing that when stuff finishes off, you never have an error, right? Uh, we're going to hit finish on this right now. And that's it, guys. That is how you update your deployment share. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's a little short. Leave comments right below if you have any comments or questions. <laughs> and I catch you guys on the next one. And hey, guys, don't forget about hitting that like button because it does support the video as well as this guy. And peace out.